Welcome back to Classy Bird Vlogs. I'm Dave and this is Nika. We're here today for a very exciting journey with you. Yeah. You ever want your home to feel more Disney? Every second of every day of my life. Well, Nika and I have been obsessed with that for years. So we're gonna share with you some of our secrets up next on Classy Bird Vlogs. So if you know anything about Walt Disney and what he loved, the biggest thing, one of the biggest things he loved was trains. So we recommend going to a local train museum and checking out some trains and feeling a little bit closer to that Disney magic. I hear the train a coming, it's roaring round the bend. This right here is actually our local Carson City Railroad Museum. If you are in this area, this is a great place to be. So as I was trying to say before, a trendy girl was doing this with her hair on Instagram and I wanted to try it. Not that I go on Instagram a whole lot anymore. That was like the one thing I saw. <laughs> set out the train tracks so what they would do is there's there's this wagon thing and it had all of those down there see that do you see it that thing I see it. That thing. It had a bunch of those things on it and they would like walk it and then every so often they'd have a guy two guys on either side with this thingy that looked like this and it was it would grab the thing and then they'd pull it off the wagon and then some other guys would be back here and they'd lift it down on the ground and they would do that for like miles and miles and miles and miles to make the train tracks. It's gonna be a long walk to get all the way over there. Let's travel by map. I'm going the old fashioned way. How'd you get over there so quick? He looks mad. Like, it's been a long day. <laughs> so this suggestion wasn't on our list, but another great thing to do is go up to Virginia City. We, we're trying not to be like place specific because we want you to be able to do this from anywhere. But you can go up to Virginia City and Truckee, and those are very train-heavy, fun, Old West-feeling places. Okay, just just listen to my advice for a second. Okay, okay. You're not going to be able to get Hello. Yourself. Hi, I'm Mika. Listen, you don't have to go any specific place. Just, there we go. Just go somewhere that has, like, an ambiance, that has a theme. Themed places make it feel a lot more Disney. Like this morning, we went to Joseph's Cafe, which is like a little Italian-themed bistro, but we both felt like we were having breakfast at Disneyland. Italian? Yeah. Or French? I don't French. Italian. It definitely, it said Venice. Oh, maybe. In the bathroom. I don't think they're Italian. Okay, well, it <laughs> was themed something, and we both felt really like we had been having breakfast at Disney. It was so nice. So no matter where you go, just find something with like an ambiance that you like and you'll have fun, okay? Has it been a long day, sir? He says yes. Tell me why 
This is a little chilly. Wow. The first thing I noticed getting onto this train was all of the windows were round and I felt like I was like in a submarine or like the bottom of a boat. <laughs> so this train is actually really cool. It's really old and there were originally only like 150 of its kind made. This one that we are standing in is the only one that in existence to be fully restored. How cool is that? So surprising enough, a lot of great Disney options, most of you probably all already know where. If you go into Target, you can find some Mickey Mouse ice cream paddles. You can find lots of Disney merch. Uh, at several Targets, they're teaming up with Target to do a Disney store. Disney stuff everywhere in Target. So let's go take a look. Disney, right? No. Okay, okay. So after much, much searching, we found this one. Not 100%. We're gonna look at the guy's stuff. And if there's one that I like there better, I might get that. We'll see. This is the one for me. Look. Toy Story. the Disney fun, we are going to be making a Disneyland inspired mac and cheese. Looks like we're ready to go. So in Cars Land at Disneyland, you're able to get this fire burning mac and cheese. Nika made her own version of it for us tonight to share with you guys to taste. Is it good? Tastes like Disneyland. Mmm. Oh yes. So good. Great job, baby. One really big thing you can do to really help the ambiance is by getting some Disney music, playing it in the house, and that is, is, is so fun. Yeah, she's really stoked about her new record. Finally, the last thing we want to talk to you about is making it an event. Get your Mickey paddles, get your churros, oh, churros. Yeah, these churros you can actually find at Smart and Final if you're in Reno. And if you're not in Reno, well. They're called Tio Pepe's churros. They're, they're Tio Pepe's. Those are the same churros they actually use in Disneyland. Same brand. And you can get it for your home. We only know this because our friends told us we're not that cool. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys. We mentioned we were going to show you our Steamboat Willie. Goodness, check this out. Dude, so much detail. I got, yes. I got this for you for Christmas, so. Thank you, Nika. I'm the coolest. 
Mickey Mouse is there. He's oh. saying hi. We also <sighs> built a shelf just for Steamboat Will. Well, that's another thing you can do. You can build some Legos. There is even a set. If you don't have the money for Legos, they have a paper set of Disneyland online that you can print out and use. That's pretty cool. You can also do a Disney theme puzzle. So there's all sorts of options to make it feel fun in here. Obviously food, shopping. The only thing we really couldn't figure out is rides, but there's some crazy creative stuff online about rides. I guess you could go drive really fast down some steep hills. <laughs> Another thing, um, a lot of people are using VR to do ride throughs. Those are all over the place. Oh, I did that. You had me do that. and. It was weird because like the person who filmed it was right there, so it felt like there was a weird man <laughs> next to me the whole time, and I was like away, but he was one filming. So thank you, weird man, for filming that and letting me go on Thunder Mountain Railroad. But it was also <laughs> weird. <laughs> well, there's all sorts of options to be able to do it and have fun. Um, finally, the last thing we want to share with you is making watching Disney Plus an event. Thank you guys for watching us today. We hope you had fun at the train museum. That was a lot of fun. There's lots of fun things to do to bring them at Disney Magic home. We're gonna have Disneyland playlists below, linked on Spotify. One that I created. I didn't. It's the Lamplight Lounge one. If you liked this video, then like this video. If you like us, then subscribe for more. Subscribe for more guys, that's all there is. So make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more. Scraps distance hitting, yeah! <laughs> well, thank you guys. We appreciate you. You're a wonderful person. Stay Disney, and you stay classy. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> we'll see you next time. And don't forget, since we are not sponsored by Magic Candle Company, but this stuff smells like the parks. It's the Pirates one smells like Pirates Caribbean. That's another great thing to do. So we got eating, we got scents, we got all sorts of stuff. You're set. Have yourself a Disney night. Virginia Trucky. To know what? What do you know? Uh. Mm. <laughs> he kind of looks surprised. Like he's trying to hold it together, but he's surprised. Don't you think? Like, he didn't know the surprise party was coming, but he doesn't want them to know he was surprised. Like, he was like, yeah, psh, I knew about this. Mm. <laughs> Fun fact, um, in sixth grade, or fifth grade, I had a typewriter, because we didn't have a printer. And so I did my homework on a typewriter, and everyone was like, why does your paper look weird? And I'd be like, my paper doesn't look weird, it looks cool. That is kind of funny. <laughs> you had a typewriter. Mine wasn't like that, though. It looked just like a computer. Oh keyboard and then the, like you put the paper in and yeah. Yours wasn't a cool no, it wasn't, typewriter. It was not cool like this. It just looked like a computer without the compute part. <laughs> it was like a tur, no compute. No compute. <laughs> just tur. <laughs> What's been your favorite part of this place? I just like seeing trains in person like this, like the old ones. Yeah. That's always really cool. They don't make stuff quite as pretty anymore. Like it's just, modern day stuff is less pretty. Is that a fair thing to say or is that rude? I'm not trying to be rude, I just think it's pretty.
Well, someday modern day stuff will be the old stuff. It's weird to me that if I buy something from the 90s, it's vintage because I was there. People know about this though. He says so. My hair's redder than hers. It's actually about the same. No, it's not. <laughs> a lot hotter than I thought it was going I was listening to you. Oh, I thought you were going to say something. No. We're going to have Disneyland playlists below, linked on Spotify. One that I created. I didn't. It's the Lamplight Lounge one. Although I do have a playlist called Lamb's Class Party Time, because it's from my <laughs> classroom. And it's a mix of um, kid-friendly songs and punk rock Disney songs, because we need some punk rock up in preschool. Tell me I'm wrong. I think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's mostly for my sanity, if you're wondering. Well, 